Welcome to Python series for beginners by Netset OS. From now onwards, we'll be discussing on functions in Python. Well, coming to definition of function, function is a group of statements that perform a specific task. Also, it is a very good programming habit. If there is a code which is need to be reused multiple times, we can define it in a function and we will call it unlike writing the same code again and again, which makes our program more organized and manageable. Furthermore, it avoids repetition and makes our code reusable. Well, coming to the syntax, there is a keyword DEF for defining a function, then a function name, which should be uniquely defined, then parenthesis, where we pass the parameters or values to the parameters. It is completely optional. Then comes a colon over here. Then there should be an indentation, which defines that a, this block of code are coming under this function name. Then comes a doc string. Doc string, the first string after the function header is called doc string, which stands for documentation string. Well, it is used to explain in brief what a function does. And it is represented with triple codes. Let's understand this with some examples. Here we can see a program written for even odd with DEF keyword. So there are two types of function over here. First is function definition. And the second one is function call. Here we started with keyword DEF for definition and even odd is a function name x is a parameter then we have given a doc string with triple quotes it always explains what our function is doing here so here it is to check whether x is even or odd this is defined because if anyone instead of us is reading the code he can understand just by reading this single line of code so it is a very good programming habit then we will give a function how it is computing x modulus 2 if it is equal to 0 it will print even otherwise it will print odd we have given a value 56 so what control will do control will come here it will take the value 56 and pass this value to the x so here x will be 56 and it will check here whether 56 divisible by 2 yes and then it will print even so let's see it has given even now if you want to print this doc string what you will do you need to define function name and then dot two underscore doc and then two underscore for printing this line or doc string which we have defined for a function so let's see it has printed to check whether x is even or not after this, let's understand what is return statement. The return statement is used to exit a function and go back to the place from where it was called. Syntax is return and then a expression list. If you haven't defined the return statement, then the function will return none object by default. Let's understand this by example. So we will start with function keyword def, then function name, then a parameter num in parenthesis then this is the doc string for giving us idea what our function is going to do so here this function returns the absolute value of the entered number great so here first of all what our control will do this controller will come to enter the number to know positive or negative so first of all this will get printed then controller will come to this value and here this value will be passed to our parameter num here num will be equal to 2 and then it will compute here whether 2 is greater than equal to 0 yes so it will return this num to result 1 and here result 1 get printed similarly for the second one we have minus 4 our controller will come to minus 4 then this minus 4 will get pass to this parameter num 
here num is equal to minus 4 it will check whether minus 4 is greater than equal to 0 no so it will come to the else part minus minus 4 so it will return this value to the result 2 and here result 2 will print 4 value so this is how our function works so let's print here first of all our number has been printed so first of all we got this message enter the number to no positive or negative then this printed and the second value has been printed when you don't return anything python will return none object by default so this was all about introduction to function now we will come to local and global variable in the next video thanks for watching drop a like leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe, subscribe.